Kooky News, the Haunter community's leading news program, with Joseph Mayan and meteorologist Stryker Reinhardt. Well, another convention has taken place. Now this time, it was the Midwest Haunters Convention, which took place in Chicago. The Midwest Haunter Convention took place last Saturday, and it looked like another great convention, just like East Coast, the one that I went to back in April. It is June 11th, and the big story on spooky news tonight is the Midwest Haunters Convention took place last Saturday in Chicago. I seen a ton of videos posted from all the haunters over there that went to the Midwest Haunters Convention, and it looked like an absolute great time. It looked the same as the East Coast Haunter Convention, the one that I went to in April. I saw a lot of you guys there, and I am planning to go back to East Coast in 2025. And there is talk about Midwest. I'm gonna talk about that in the future. But I'm gonna show a couple video clips from the Midwest Haunters Convention. Like an absolute great time like i bet a lot of people had fun over there and everybody took their flight back home now and people have been showing their hauls they've been showing videos they've been giving content on what the stuff looked like over there and there was a couple of there's distortions unlimited was there and a lot of the other professional halloween prop companies were over there as well so over the weekend spirit halloween has released a teaser and a new 2024 prop. And I'm gonna play the teaser right now. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Carnival. Now, this is a circus theme that Spirit Halloween's doing this year. We have not seen a circus theme in well over 11 to 12 years. The last circus theme we had was in 2010 and 2013 and now 2024. So three years of circus theme, but we haven't had a circus theme since 2013. So it's the first time in about 11 years that we're getting a circus theme. And also an Art the Clown prop from Spirit Halloween was released as well. Here is the video of Art the Clown. He has got some great detail onto him. I wish he had blood, but I'm not going to complain too much about that. I really like the face on that guy. And it honestly tops Party City because I really don't like Party City's one. The Party City one had like a really goofy face. And I feel like this is the face from the actual movie. Like, I actually love this face on this prop. Like, it's an actually very cool prop. The one that I am waiting is 
waiting to see is the Michael Myers one because I think me and my friend are gonna save up our money and we're probably gonna buy him to put in the front yard. So a new broadcasting series has started on this channel as well. It's called Spooky 10. And that is pretty much an analysis series, which I'm going to be diving more deeper into the Spirit Halloween stuff. And I'm going to be discussing more on the themes for Spirit Halloween, because when I do the broadcast, I can only do it so short and show the video clips. So this series is really like more of an inside story to what I want to do on this news channel. Like I'm going to go, I'm going to start going deeper into what I'm going to talk about. It's going to be more detail and it's going to show a lot more stuff and it's all going to be in 10 minute video. So more episodes of Spooky 10 are definitely going to come out in the future. No doubt about that. But anyway, it's time for shout outs. <laughs> It is shout out time on our broadcast tonight. I'm going to be picking five random YouTubers to shout out tonight. So here we go. Number five, LJ Haunts. Number four, The Halloween Nightmare. Number three, William Gaming. Number two, Spookulators. And number one, The Darkest Pumpkin. You all deserve the shout outs tonight. And I thank you guys so much for watching my content and subscribing. But like I said before, if you would like to get shouted out on our broadcast, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. And make sure to turn on your notifications so you know when we do another broadcast, a Spooky 10 episode, or another video in general. So there have been some theories about the Spirit Halloween props that were in that teaser. And there have been some images on Jay Haunt's story. And I think these are the names for the props of 2023. So this first one here is Death Ray. There's no price for this one yet, but it does look like a pretty cool prop. The second one, this is the second and last one. The second one is the Cremator. And this is the one holding the skull in its hands. And its price is going for 130 which seems like a reasonable price. Now, I have to say, I've not seen the full body reveal of these props yet, and Death Ray, you can only like get a little glimpse of what it looks like, but I don't know how he figured out what the names of these props were. That's something that I would like to know. How did you figure that out on your own? Because <laughs> I don't think I would ever figure that out on my own. About a couple days ago, I had interviewed the Vona Experience. Now, the Voina experience is a haunter on this community, and I got the chance to interview him the other day. So here's a clip of my interview with the Voina experience. Why do I love making Halloween content? Well, because as I mentioned in the previous question, I love to entertain people and I love Halloween. And I like to play with the animatronics. I don't like to just set them up and have them do their thing. I also like to put costumes and stuff on them and mess around with them and make them a little bit funny and goofy. I like to have fun with it besides just setting up a haunt and being scary. Uh, we like to play and have a good time. So I love making that content because I like to share that with everybody. Plus, I also happen to really enjoy video editing which I know is not necessarily uh, every YouTuber's favorite part of the process. Some people don't even edit their videos, they just record it and send them out, and that's cool too. But I love video editing, so I like to take really you know cool camera angles if I'm doing a video that requires that type of thing. Um, but I like to see what kind of fun editing things that I can do with it to make it funny or to make it scary. Um, if you watch, I have on my channel a video where we celebrated the Friday the 13th last season, and I kind of had some fun little editing things with that. We also made a short during the whole Wes Anderson uh, thing that was going through social media there for a while. It was pretty popular and we made one. I thought that was a lot of fun. So I really just like making videos and editing them. And I, I you know, that's just kind of why I like making Halloween content. <laughs> Brett from the Voina Experience is a very nice guy and he seems to know a lot about Halloween. The next person I'm going to be interviewing for the 2024 season is the flagship phantom. Now we're going to figure out a way of how we're going to do that interview. I'm probably going to message him either on Instagram or discord, wherever I can get in touch with them. 
So this guy named Machine Washable 101 posted a video the other day and it caught my attention. It's about what do haunters dream of? And it actually is very, very relatable. Here's a look at that. Hey y'all, Machine Washable here, and today I'm going to be talking about a strange phenomenon regarding dreams. And when I say dreams, I mean like, like, falling asleep and your brain making up nonsense, not like hopes and dreams and aspirations. So I posted a community post about a week ago talking about this, and surprisingly a lot of people were like, yeah, I've had this same exact dream, and it's kind of horrifying, it's really scary. You know, as haunters, it's kind of the one thing that we really worry about. So I'm gonna kind of set the scene um, and then we're gonna talk about, you know, what this maybe could mean for our like subconscious or anything. I'm not a professional. I'm just, I'm just interested, you know? So let's get started. So let me set the scene. You've been waiting like so long for Halloween, you know, since like May, June, you've been uh, getting ready, planning haunts. You've been working on getting your props set up, planning everything. Um, and then, you you walk outside you walk to where your haunt is wherever you don't have anything up there's no props your stuff is not set up you have nothing ready and halloween is tomorrow halloween is today and you're like no it's it's over and then after a little bit of this you're kind of panicking and then you wake up and you're like it's just a dream and you're like oh thank god this has happened to me as well as so many other people in the comments of that um community post and i think it's so interesting how so many people have had this same kind of dream and i haven't heard anyone else ever talk about it i don't know why or how but it's just like this shared dream that we all have so i wanted to kind of do some research and kind of see you know what could this mean for like your subconscious brain maybe there's like things that we can kind of figure out about ourselves i don't know let's let's try to dive deep and figure out what's going on I have to agree with some of the stuff in here. I do have to agree with a lot of this about their haunts and other stuff that goes on in this community. I really, really do have to agree with all of this stuff. Even though I've only been in the horror community since last year, I can relate to some of this stuff. Finally, tonight we're gonna take one look at our spooky weather forecast. So let's toss it over to Striker Reinhardt in the Weather Center. Take it away, Striker. Hi, I'm Striker Reinhardt on the Spooky News Weather center and here is the rain the rain there's not too much rain there's a little there's a little bit not that much we didn't get that much rain yesterday and here's the clouds there's there's a lot of clouds in this picture They're around where i live and here's the temperature we're going to be mainly in the 60s so yeah let's go on to the seven day forecast this is the seven day forecast on saturday we will be seeing a high of 82 and a low of 59 on sunday we will be seeing a high of 71 and a low of 59 again and on monday we'll be seeing a high of 81 and a low of 60. on tuesday we'll be seeing a high of 85 and a low of 65. On Wednesday, we'll be seeing a high of 83 and a low of 63. On Tuesday, well, on Thursday, we'll be seeing a high of 80 and a low of 56. On Friday, we'll be seeing a high of 76. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in to Spooky News. Thank you, Striker. Well, that about does it for tonight's broadcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe and make sure to comment and turn on notifications so you know when we do another broadcast or a Spooky 10 episode. Now for the entire Haunter community, I'm Joseph Mayan. I hope we can catch you in the next broadcast. Good night.